so maybe it's just me, but it seems like all of a sudden, like maybe in the past couple weeks now, there's just been this influx of like Karen clips on the internet. And like the phrase Karen has exploded in popularity when it's been around since like 2014. The phrase Karen just like crawled back out of the grave within like the past week now. And honestly, I don't know what started it. I don't know where this is all coming from really. So like the title of the video says, I'm just going to call it the Karen apocalypse. And in the midst of this whole Karen apocalypse situation, yesterday this hashtag started trending on Twitter titled Karen strikes again. And basically pretty much as you'd expect, it was just people sharing Karen clips from all over the internet. And like I said, I really don't know where this is all coming from. If somebody in the comments can like let me know where this influx of Karen content is coming from. And there was this one main clip that was attached to the whole situation. Obviously, like I said, people were sharing thousands of clips from, you know, people just being annoying, asking to speak to store managers, complaining because, you know, their mocha coffee didn't have enough chocolate in it. So now they need a full refund and you're getting a one star Yelp review and, you know, you're getting a strongly worded email to the store manager, so just stuff like that. But there was really this one clip that was standing above them all and it was from this woman named Amy and pretty much she was walking her dog in the park without a leash, which I mean, first of all, you should never do. If you ever had a dog, you should know that, you know, you need a leash if you're walking it in public. That's kind of like common knowledge and courtesy. You'd think if you had, you know, any number of brain cells, it would kind of, you know, register in your head that that's kind of necessary. But I guess Miss Amy here is built different. And there was this dude here in the park. I guess he was just going for a walk or whatever. I heard somewhere on Twitter that he was like watching birds, which I didn't even know that was a real thing. I heard that on TV and stuff. I didn't know bird watching was like an actual hobby, but I mean more power to him if that's the case. So our dude Christian here, and I'm going to blur out their last names because for some reason, this is a CNN article here. And for some reason, news stations just like love to pretty much just dox people on live television, which is pretty weird to me. So I'm going to, you know, have the courtesy to blur their names. But Christian here said the dog was tearing through the plantings and he told Amy the dog needed to be on a leash. He said he was not screaming at Amy and he was actually pretty calm, which once you see the video, you can easily believe that that's the case because he's completely calm throughout the whole video while the woman's like sitting there pretending she's being assaulted and calling the police and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's a sight to see. Would you please stop? Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to and me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. So the weird thing there to me is that she's sitting there approaching him. Like she's literally sitting there walking towards him. He's saying, please don't approach me. And she's sitting there walking towards him. Like she's going to snatch the phone out of his hand or hit him or something, you know, throw the dog on him and say attack, call the attack dogs in. Like we're on black ops Two hijacked. And then immediately after she does that, she says, I'm calling the police. What is she calling the police for? She's literally sitting there approaching a man that's saying, please leave me alone. So my question is, what is she calling the police for? What does she think? You you know, he's going to get charged with because I'm assuming they're in America here and in America, it's perfectly legal to film someone in public. So he can't get like arrested for that. So I don't know what she was really trying to call the police here for or what she thought that was really going to do. Now, this next part of the clip is kind of where the video takes a turn for the worst. Uh, I'm not going to go too far into this part of the video because I want I, I like my videos to say like lighthearted and entertaining. But what she says here is like disgusting. And I have like no respect for this woman after what she says here in this part of the clip like she definitely knew exactly what she was saying and she knew exactly what this implied especially with like the george floyd situation and stuff like this type of stuff like it, this is inexcusable please call the cops i'm gonna tell them there's an african-american man threatening my life please tell them whatever you like excuse me so like I said, I'm not even going to touch on that part of the video anymore because I could turn that into a whole like two hour segment. But one thing I do want you to notice here is that while she's on the phone with the police, you know, making up this whole situation to them, notice the fact that she's literally like strangling her dog. Like I'm not even kidding. Some of you may have noticed it already, but she's literally sitting there holding her dog up, like choking it in the middle of this entire situation. It's disgusting. Sorry, I can't hear you either. Oh. 
I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in the ramble. I don't know. Thank you. Notice how the dog starts like struggling and freaking out because it's literally being choked by the owner And then I feel like she tries to use that in the call to make it sound like she's being like attacked by the guy Like she starts playing it up in her voice more and sounds like you know She's getting chased or something when really her dog's just freaking out because she just finished like choking it for 45 seconds But that's besides the point anyway There is kind of an update on this whole situation with this Amy woman here So apparently after this whole clip like went viral she started getting like death threats, which is never okay I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but like if you're like a reoccurring viewer to my channel, whenever I make these type of videos where I'm, you know, I guess kind of calling someone out or pointing out them doing something pretty wrong, I always make sure to not give any kind of information out that can lead anybody to their personal social media accounts or anything like that, because a lot of people like to watch these type of videos and then go send hate to them, which is horrible. You know, you should never go send hate to anybody on the internet. That's, that, that's just not okay. But as I was saying here, we do have an update. The woman voluntarily went and returned her dog after this clip went viral which is cool to see and she also got suspended from her job which I mean you can argue whether or not she deserved that but anyway that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as always you can follow me on Twitter at relaxyt and other than that I'll catch you guys in the next video I'm out